Beth Weisenberger, co-founder and president of the Handel Group, one of the most impactful executive life coaching companies. Beth has personally coached big time CEOs and athletes to become higher performers and their best and happiest selves. The Handel Group offers not only live coaching, but also a digital platform, Inner You, for professionals, individuals, athletes, and students. Beth knows how to kick ass and make you all the happier for it. Take it from me and maybe even Gary V. Welcome, Beth. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Hi, Gary. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Beth. How are you? So, Beth, why don't you contextualize the, the Handel Group for everybody, and then we'll get into it. Okay, great. Hi, everybody. Handel Group. So first, um, it's my younger sister, Lauren Zander, and I co-founded the company. Now, don't get younger. She's my boss. Uh, <laughs> she's the inventor of our method. She's a genius, and I'm a builder. And so 16 years ago, uh, given who we are and how much we care about people, we're like, let's go coach people. And there was no such thing as coaching. We were looked at like weirdos. We are weirdos. And so we were like, all right, let's give it a year and let's see if we can, uh, you know, hit it out of the park. And we did. And so we're the largest. We have over 70 people who work for us. We have a sports division, a life coaching division, the corporate division I run. We have um, um, our interview. We teach at universities, Yale, Harvard, MIT for 14 years and the list goes on. So we've made a name for ourselves and we are executive life coaches every day. And, and where were you, and actually, I don't know this, and obviously we've gotten to know each other, we're coaching together, like, where were you in your life cycle when your younger sis said, this is brewing, like, what were you doing in your life at that point? And, and how did you think about the concept at the time? Was that like something, you know, in hindsight, my atmosphere in my household led to so much of what I am but it took me a, a longer period of time to be like, oh, right, that's why, that's why, you know, was it something on the radar all those no, years ago? Exactly. Or, yeah. it's, the, it's actually a wild story. So at the time I was 45 years old, I'm 61 now, and, um, and I was married at the time. She, by the way, by the way, for the record, she 100% said that because she looks so remarkable. Like I even was like, whoa, like you, you know, that was humble brag summer. I see you laughing. You know, we all know exactly why you said that you, you are fishing for compliments and you have no, executed, no, no, that, but you have actually, executed. Twitter is lighting up with compliments. I know what you were doing there, but keep going. Yeah, it's to get women to get, yeah, hot <laughs> and it could be too. Um, so don't be doing no age bullshit. Okay, so um, 45, married, um, two and a half year old daughter at the time, living in Laguna Beach, and I friggin' wanted out of there. I was uh, the head of sales of a, a management consulting firm. They were in business 18 years. It was my second year. I produced the highest sales for them in the 18 years they'd ever been there. I was bored. I sorry, Californians. I didn't like Laguna Beach. I'm a New Yorker. And I was like missing people and I needed a job. And then my sister, Lauren Gay, got me a job with one of her clients. And after six weeks, the woman was like, I don't want to build an empire. She's going to build an empire. I don't want it that big. And so I'm now in New York City with my two and a half year old daughter, my husband, he wants to kill me, no job. And I look at my sister and I'm like, listen, you, the only one I want to work with is you. Let's take you, make you the Oprah of coaching in the world and let's get this going. And that's what happened. What was the, you know, actually always trying to find value for the audience. Obviously I speak about family business dynamics a lot. Obviously me hearing you say that se sentence, you clearly had the same dynamics that I fortunate to have with my two siblings, which is you had a loving relationship for you to be able to say that to your sis. With all that being said, only you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you make the, like f feeling good about that part. What, what was the biggest challenges actually in the other direction in those first couple of years of finding your footing in this professional relationship with somebody that you obviously loved so much? You know, it's fun. I'm 11 years younger. So we really never, we didn't have the same friends. I did not know her friends. I did not know working with her. She was baby Lauren. Um, and, you know, when I saw the genius of her, she coached me in two coaching sessions when I was in Laguna Beach, altered my life in 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh my God. 
and really our dynamic of, I know who she is and I know how to be with her as a leader. Um, have we had a few fights? You know, we have one a year um, that gets, you know, like rah, 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 how, do you, how, do, how do they normally get fixed? I think They're, I'll tell you where I'm going with this, Beth. I think a lot of people need to hear the stories of how they get fixed because it takes, it's individual human dynamics. And sometimes people don't have the humility, people dig in and then things never get fixed. In your situation, this is just a, one, one woman's story. In your situation, how do, what's the normal way your once a year blowout gets fixed? What normally happens first? There, we have the, the fight. Um, I hate that she's always right. I don't want to own. <laughs> it's always about there's something she wants me to own. And so this is perfect for everybody. There's where our coaching takes you. And as Gary can attest or Andre or any, you know, we're coaching, you know, 49 people and then 900 people just got dropped into our online module, right? And so you can attest the hardest thing for humans is to own what sucks about you, to own your dark side in your cavity. And Accountability. It, Right, and if it's really a dark one, like it's one of those cavities where I don't want to own what a mean motherfucker I can be, like I don't want to own that I'm that bitch, right? And it's embarrassing and oh my God, I got caught in it and oh no, I'm not. All I want to do is defend and fight. So Lauren usually points out where I suck. This one I don't want to own and I'm now to her. And it goes that way for however long. My other sister, who's also a coach, will intervene into it. Um, and at some <laughs> point, I know it's not, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to be that jerk. I really do walk the talk. And it's now time for me to stop being so embarrassed. Yes, I am that girl that has this bad trait. And now let's go deal with it. And so once I'm willing to own whatever she's pointing out to me, I'm fine. So it doesn't take long. And there, and like I said, there's like one a year. I think this year, did we have any this year? Yeah, we had one. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about cavities, use that term. How do, how do the coaches, what should the leaders that are listening right now think about in trying to find cavities? How are those found? Well, let me put you on the spot. What's your, what, why don't you tell people what's one of your cavities that we have discovered? Something I've talked about in my content sparingly, which always gets a huge amount of reactions from the ones that catch it, because it's never the lead, it's usually somewhere deep in a podcast, is I'm a real tough candorous, like I can shoot, like everyone's, I love Gary Vee, he's no bullshit. And on stage, when I talk about macro, and even to a macro group, it's a piece of cake because it's the observation, I wanna fix it, it comes from a good place. On a one-to-one -one basis, um, using your terminology of chickens, I don't love to give candorous feedback when it's negative because I, I hate conflict at that level. I, I don't like the feeling of delivering bad news, which unfortunately creates vulnerabilities of people being blindsided if they ultimately are no longer in the company. Exactly. So as you can hear everyone, so one of the first things that we begin with is your dream. And then let's now see what's in the way of you actually having what you want. Are you walking your talk? Are you living true to your values? Whether it's your values as a mother, whether it's your values as a staff member, whether it's your values as a daughter, et cetera. And there's plenty of places where we're not living true to our values. Like if you have a value to be healthy and you've gained 15 pounds in COVID, we would call that being a brat, like someone else is running your life. If you avoid certain conversations, we call that a chicken. None of which, you're not bad. This is cavities. We have what's great about us and what sucks about us. And where we travel in a very fun and respectful way is over to your pollution to get it out of the way so you can have what you want in your life. You know, like, like let's raise the bar so I'm fully in, you know, Vayner, right? And we've got 900 people. We got the top 50-ish getting coached. And you raise the bar of people being able to, you know, own their dark sides, their cavities, and then immediately take an action that alters it all. Like, this is not like you get off the phone and you just had an insight. This is immediate action to alter something for you to be who you want to be. Totally understood. 
What about um, your expansion? What's been the challenges from expanding to a hand-to-hand -hand combat coaching business to obviously the, in, the business has gone into creating a tech tool um, for scalability, for more impact. You know, I spend an enormous amount of time with entrepreneurs and startups that try to make the transition into the tech business after being in some, because non-tech business, because everyone's realizing yeah. how important that is for the next hundred years. What's been the biggest challenges and, and, and how's it going? Um, it's, well, you know, the pandemic made the difference, right? It, it's for our business, it absolutely did. We've been working from home for 16 years. So we're experts in teaching people how to work from home, right? And then there's, we had already, we had just dropped like, let's call it, I think it's five months before Inner You, which is our online coaching program. So four months before the pandemic hit, give or take, we had dropped it. And then the pandemic hit and everybody's home and everybody wants to take care of people. I had a CEO buy a hundred for his people in his company or Gary, you got 900 for your people because people are at home and this is the time for you to evolve yourself. You've got some space, you've got some time, you've got everybody, your children, we've got you know, children courses after school. So we, um, we're just getting it out in the world and letting people know. So our biggest challenge is branding it out into the world and that's what we're doing now. And we hired the Sasha group to help us. Fair enough, which is always a good decision. I know James Orsini just got a big, big smile. What, what is, uh, actually to, to step back, cause I'm reading the feedback and people are getting a lot of value from the terminology. What is, what are you always most surprised about Beth in, in the process of finding a cavity, carving it out? Like, is it, some human's ability to go into accountability quickly and oh my God, if they, they've been dealing with this vulnerability for 16 years and look how easy it was for them to be account. You know, like you would think somebody who's got a cavity for 16 years is gonna fight like hell to not be accountable, but then the framework puts them in accountability. They do it and it's like da da da. Is it people's ability to revert back to bad behavior? Why don't you give like three to six observations, you know, 15 years into this around, kind of, I'm just, this is just general curiosity. I think it'd help the audience. Common su surprises or observations, like things that are just fascinating that you may not know if you're not in it. You know, the mo one of my favorite things is when, cause our method is really simple, right? If you break it down, it is so simple. And so to be able to have a 55 minute coaching session with someone who at the end of that call just took an area where they haven't been living true to their values, which we call personal integrity. And now they have the exact framework. They've got the cavity, they've got the promise and the consequence and that life is now altered, never the same. So if I get on the phone with any one of my clients in, um, in Vayner is like, you know, they're now exercising. They're now, you know, with their children. I have people dealing with like, hell, you don't spend time with your children. I know, you, you know, so we take everything where you are not living true to your values. And immediately in that one session, you've now got three promises with consequences that if you follow, or if you don't, you have to pay the consequence and we hold you to account that have now altered your life on a dime. And it always makes me so giddy and happy to be able to then get on my next session with someone and they're like, oh my God, I lost the four pounds. Oh my God, my wife is so happy. I'm hanging with the kids. Oh my God. And like, it was like one conversation. <laughs> it was chicken brat weather reporter. You got a promise, you got a consequence. That's that. Now, it goes way deeper. So everyone who's listening, it's way deeper. We got a lot of content, but that's like the first two sessions is and in life altering and it, each time it just makes me so happy because people are so freed up right to be able to like there's someone who i coached who was a chicken about talking to you they had the conversation with you they were so happy and freed up makes such a difference in one simple yep. conversation with the promise and consequence just like you made yesterday yep 100 percent um we've got two minutes what what do you want to get across for everybody who's listening. For those of you who, any of you who want more information, um, just text Beth to 528-55 and we'll take care of you and answer all your questions. 
Um, I um, like that. I like the text to say that one more time to make sure everybody caught it. Text Beth to 528-55. Um, and you can learn about all the different things that we have. Or go on our website. There's newsletters. There's free stuff. <laughs> there's community calls. There's speed coaching. You know, we're, we deeply care. Our two taglines are learn to human better. And we believe to human is a verb. And the other has a curse word. And Gary knows I like to curse. Unfuck your future self. I love it. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.